Hi everybody, today we're going to do a My Little Pony beautiful design. So we're going to start off by using a light pink. I'm using number 69 from Algerlina range with a 7mm Italy range brush that I'm just going to use to draw the base color of this design. As you can see, I'm just basically doing like a very weird shaped heart as base. And then on the other finger, we're going to do a different design of the My Little Pony character. You'll see that I'm also drawing the little the base first, just for me to have an idea where to go with the rest of the design. And then I'm just going to fill it in so that you can see the whole background as a whole. And after each step that I do, I cure the nails for 60 seconds. Just make sure that your layers are nice and even, that there's no stairs um, created by the layers that you have placed on. So now I'm going to use the Just of a Hot Pink. It's an amazing product to work with. It's not runny at all, so you can lo use lots of details. So with the Just of a Hot Pink, we're just going to create the outline of the um, hair. You'll the brush that I just used is the rose gold range, the number one oval brush, just to clean where I accidentally made a very thick line. Then I'm going to use the just of a white and the hot pink, and I'm just going to mix it just to create a little bit later, lighter shade, just to do the outline of the face. Unfortunately, my camera went a little bit out of focus, but you can still get an idea of what I'm doing. So then I'm just going to create the mouth and the nose as well. Um, after looking at the design, I could have placed it a little bit lower, but unfortunately, it's already been done. So now I'm using the just of a Y just to create the eyes. You'll see I'm making a little bit of an oval. And remember, you can always go in and fix after you've done it like you can see i'm switching between the two until i'm happy with it and then i'm going to do exactly the same with the other finger but you'll see i'm doing a little bit of a different design more of a side view This one is much more fun. It has a little bit of a wave in the hair. Um, so it just gives a little bit more texture. You'll see the colors we're going to be using doesn't have a lot of difference. The client didn't want any drastic um, detail in the hair. So we're basically just going to do go for a soft look. At this point of the design, it didn't look at all like a My Little Pony, but the end result also looks amazing. Now we're just going to use the number 12 Jolina um, gel polish and we're just going to fill in the empty spaces in the hair. On the video, you can't really see a difference in color. But in real life, there is a lot of difference between the two. You can actually see the detail. But we're going to add some very nice shadows and um, highlights to be able to see where the hair is and to create some texture. So now I'm going to use the light blue from the Justova and I'm just going to create the eye. I'm going to use the black just to create the inner part of the eye, the pupil. And I'm going to draw a little bit of a piece outwards just to create a little bit more detail. Just a tiny little line. And I'm also going to use the black Joseva to create her lashes.
Like you can see, I placed the black and the blue while it's still wet. The reason why I'm doing it for myself is to create a little bit of a smudged look where the two colors um, connect. I don't like it to make like a very harsh line from where the colors meet. So for me, it's just an easier way to create a little softer line where the two colors blend. Just going to add a little bit more detail with the light pink that I've mixed with the two colors, with the white and the hot pink. And I'm going to cure. So I'm just going to go over the, um, the sketch that I made previously and I'm just going to add a little bit of a white detail in her eye. I'm just going to rectify with the darker pink and then I'm also going to add her lashes. I'm just going to correct the one side, um, the one eye has a little bit of a smudge area in the pupil so we're just going to correct that and we're going to start adding her lashes and giving her more detail. I'm also going to put a little bit of white detail inside her eye just to create a little bit more realistic look. And a little bit of blush you can never go without it now I'm gonna use the number 68 Jolina gel polish and I'm just gonna create highlights in her hair just to give a little bit more texture so on the video you can't really see what I'm doing because it's such a nice off-white but in real life you can actually see there's a lot of difference and then with the hot pink on this um, character I'm just adding a little bit more detail like I said previously you can't really see what I'm doing at this stage you can just add a little bit of detail there So I'm just taking a little bit of black and I'm just smudging it inside of her mouth just to create a shadow and then I'm going to use a um, carbon armor top coat, it's non-wipe and I'm just going to seal that design. You'll see that I placed the carbon armor top coat a little bit thicker just to create a smooth surface. Now I'm just going to take the Just of a White, it's a non wipe gel paint, and I'm just going to add a little bit of detail. You'll see it's not like 100% on the lines, it's just to create a little bit of dimension in the design and let it pop a little bit. Now we're just going to decorate the other nails as well. We're just going to create a rainbow with the pink and the blue and the yellow. The blue that I'm using is number 84 from the Julina range and the yellow is 120. And then the pink that I'm using is the same one that we've used for the, um, for the faces. It's number 69 and then the, the pink is number 84. 
um, number 12 sorry and then I'm just gonna use some nail decorations and I'm gonna stick that with our tick base and I'm just gonna add a little bit of glitter just to um, make it a little bit more detailed then I'm gonna cure it and then I am gonna also take the just of a white and I'm just gonna make thin stripes just to make a little bit of a depth look so it just has a little bit more of detail and then on this now we're just gonna take the thick base and we're just gonna add the stones just for a little bit of shimmer girl can always have a lot of bling never too much On this nail we're going to create balloons. As you can see I am using number 84 for the blue and 120 from the Jolina range for the yellow. And then before it's dried we're going to use a, a very thin glitter, fine glitter. And we're just going to dust it on before we're going to cure it. After we've dusted on we're just going to cure it and then we're going to just dust it. And then we're going to do the different color which is going to be the yellow we're going to do exactly the same adding glitter cure it and then dust it afterwards and then we're just going to take the black josova and we're going to create the details in the lint of the balloons After that has cured we're just going to apply a top coat once again I'm using the Jelena top coat the carbon armor non, um, non wipe and I'm just gonna once again add detail with my white remember this is a non wipe product so you can use it on top of the gel polish and you don't need to add anything on top of it thank you so much for watching my new tutorial please leave a comment and tell me what you think